Hello guys, and welcome back to another Two Anore Guys video. There's only going to be a couple more videos from on my behalf talking about what's going on in my sort of life because how me and Jacob wanted to do this was at the start we wanted to you know talk about both our journeys and say you know sometimes our journeys are going to be different so we decided to uh, make two separate channels as well. We haven't really been um, uploading on on them separate channels yet, but what the aim is to do is to have two separate channels and this channel so the stuff that me and Jacob both share together for example um I don't know exam results and stuff like that we could sort of put on here and and, and you know and talk about how uh, how you know my exam results might be less than Jacob's or vice versa and we kind of talk about that together because we both did the exam but um <clears throat> you know stuff like this like sit down videos we could just do separately and talk about you know our own opinions on the course uh, and stuff like that and where we're personally at as well. So that's kind of what this two ordinary guys channel is going to be about. The separate channels are going to be more like um you know when I go on holiday for example and and record you know daily vlogs on holiday and um, for Jacob to do what he wants to do on his channel. So it gives us like a freedom of what we want to uh, what we want to do separately if get if that, if that kind of makes sense because obviously. Me and Jacob are, you know, best friends, but also we do share different lives at the same time. So it'd be nice to have that channel to sort of do what we want to do as well. Just wanted to make that clear. Yeah. So this video is basically me talking about where I am currently in the year and overall sort of, um, what's the word, summarization of the year. Talk about what's happened my opinions on them, um, how I'm getting on, and what I'm waiting for to then finish uh, second year, uh, second year, hopefully, first year. But for next year, I think on this channel, I am going to aim, it might be this channel, it might be the, the other channel, but I'm going to basically aim to record a video every week, so week one, week two, week three, week four, and just explain regarding the course. So if you're interested in something like what I'm going to, like that idea sort of thing, then make sure you do subscribe because you know, I'm going to be talking about more the course. That's kind of my aim for next year. You know, talking about so week one, what we did on week one, week two, exam, exam. You know, and keep going on like that, so you guys can kind of follow that if you if you kind of want to do that. Yeah. So you know, I'm talking about placement, for example. I'm not going to mention the five weeks on placement, but maybe I would summarize on, you know, something. You know, some stuff I've learned on placement in that week or something like that. I don't want to mention the jobs I've been to because obviously that will cancer you know, it could cause a problem on the course so um but that's what i want to do next year so document every week how the week's gone i've really struggled with this time to do that and i kind of fell behind and it, it's something that i've looked back on the channel and thought you know i've kind of missed a really good opportunity there so i'm definitely going to try and improve that so that's something that i wanted to bring next year so this year um we've had to do 600 hours of placement so we have 150 hours um, in a care home at this very, very start of the year. So this is like October time. I can't remember when it is. But yeah, the start of the year, we have 150 hours to do in a care home. Um, this basically gets us used to interacting because some people, believe it or not, haven't actually had um, or come in contact with any sort of elderly person before. It sounds really bad calling it an elderly person, but you know what I mean? It's the interaction, the communication really is the thing you want to develop the communication is very important i think in um in the ambulance service in general as well because obviously you're going to be sat in the back of the ambulance with the with the patient um so if you can't communicate with anybody you're going to really struggle you know if you've got like a long transfer you know or something like that, a long journey or to a different hospitals for example you're going to really struggle in the back so you know if you build the communication skills up on these placements or you know pl um you know, volunteer and stuff like that, that's kind of really important, I would say. So if you're trying to figure out things, what to do before university, that would be one of them, you know, maybe try and gain your communication up, try and get more confident talking to people, maybe volunteering in a care home or um, a hospital, for example. And also, you know, the biggie is revise anatomy and physiology, you know, go over the, the basics, all the body systems and stuff like that and try and get like a baseline knowledge of what, you know, you, what you would think you would know sort of thing and um, just go over the topics. That's kind of what I'd recommend. 
Uh, so yeah, we had 150, 150 hours, 151st of all, 150, 600 overall, 150 in the care home. Then we, after that, went back to university for a little while and went back out on placement to PTS. Now, PTS stands for patient transport. And what that basically means is you, you'll be picking up and, and taking people uh, to and from their appointments like uh, dialysis, so renal dialysis, so you, you'll be, and stuff like that could be for doctor's appointments um it can be anything you know you're picking them up and it's really good because you know you're going into their homes and picking them up and you know in that that's what i'm saying it, that gets you used to the um communication you know the communication i just mentioned about before gets you used really used to doing that i think that, i think that was really good and there's talks i don't know about making it smaller than than placement blocks but personally i think it was maybe five weeks of both of them was quite too long um but you know it does get used to it. I, I worked in a care home for three years so I was kind of used used to kind of doing that you know in the in the care home for my place my, my um care home placement of PTS I learned so much I think I found and um, and you can also do a affering shift as well so you'd be cleaning and, and stocking the ambulances the, the emergency ambulances so it helps for your next placement um during this, we had a anatomy and physiology exam, which um, I don't want to say what we covered, but like I said before, just revise all the body systems. We don't, you don't do all the body systems, but I would just say, as a baseline knowledge, revise all the all the body systems. Um, so we had that exam, and I passed. I got like a, I think I got a, a D, which is like very low, uh, very low pass, but it's a pass. Um, I mentioned in a couple of other videos, I'm not the sort of person that will get A stars. Um, I do struggle academically. So to pass an exam for me is, is massive. It really is really massive. So I, I was quite proud about that. And we also had, I think, two assignments during that as well. There was a research module and um, another assignment as well. I can't remember. We might have two more actually um, during that time as well. And then we had um, a lot of clinical sessions during the, these placements as well. So during the, in, after we went back from the PTS, we then started having these clinical sessions. Um, this would be, this is teaching us, uh, for example, history taking, handovers, um, assessing body systems, like the cardiovascular system, how would you assess it? Because coming up was our OSCE. So before, before our second placement, so this is before our first, ambulance block placement we had uh, an OSCE so what this OSCE would be is you go in you've got five envelopes you pick one of the envelopes and this could be the um, body system on you pick that and then based on your history history taken would be um, that body system and then you'd have to assess it but you don't know the body system you only know from the history take the history that you've taken and then you kind of do it if that makes sense and you're marked on like a red uh amber green sort of traffic light system if you get two reds if you get three reds sorry it's a fail two reds and all greens and ambers is a pass um i did this and i passed i was really happy it's very stressful when you're in there because you completely forget everything um but luckily i passed and i, I was really chuffed with myself actually to, to kind of pass that exam um it made me realize how far i've actually come from you know way before university trying to pass my english and maths exam to having a half an hour oski uh you know recorded and you know and examined and passing it so you know i was quite proud about that but skipping i've, I've skipped too far so going back a little bit we had 150 hours then on the emergency ambulances ambulances and we had to fill out um i don't want to show you what i've written but like these books um, these are like the comp the competencies books that we have. So, you know, if if you go to someone with um, I don't know, have a, re a respiratory problem, there'll be competency in that section that you need to fill out for the respiratory section. So, you know what the what you did, and your mentor will then talk over with you, um, you know what what you've done well, what you can improve on. You can sort of go over your competencies and get them signed off. That's that's kind of the aim of it, kind of thing. Um, so that's kind of. The, f the first placement blocks normally you know get in, you know get in the reins a little bit you know it's quite it's quite nervous and they do understand um how nervous it is they've all they've all been there you know they've all been on their first blue light run 
Um, so that placement block was more about getting your feet, you know, learning the basics, doing the observations and stuff like that, and, and just doing stuff that you feel comfortable with. If you don't feel comfortable with it, they don't actually ask you to do anything. If you say, like, I'd rather just watch you guys do this, they more than welcome would just let you watch because they understand. They went back to university after the 150 hours. Um, so normally this, this, so how it works out for me, so 150 hours sounds quite long. So I normally have three 12 hour shifts a week. So that could be, you know, ranging up from half five in the morning till half five at night to half five in the night to half five in the morning and all in between. So it could be six till six, seven till seven, all these shifts. And you, you know, you just get allocated them by the, uh, by the trust. And then you're just expected to do them, um, which is which is kind of expected, really. So you have three shifts a week for five weeks. Um, so back to university, which then I had the OSCE. Um, and then you, I was revising at the time um, for my pathophysiology exam. Now, pathophysiology was probably the most difficult I found during, during the entire year. Uh, strictly because it's so much to know. Obviously, you need to know all about the, 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 the diseases and the disorders and all that sort of stuff and know how it sort of affects the body and how it can go wrong. You know, anaphylaxis and stuff like that and COPD. So, you know, it is quite a lot to know, I found. And I just kind of struggle with that a little bit. Um, but I guess that was just how it was. And then we had an assignment due as well, which was a 3,000-word anatomy and physiology um, assignment so normally this was an exam back a couple of years ago but due to the student feedback they changed it to um, an assignment so I found it okay and we're just now waiting on my pathophysiology exam results which I done last Friday so it's currently Saturday today I did it last so Friday just gone Ooh. not Friday yesterday you know a week, week ago um, I did that and the, the assignment was due on that day as well. So we had both of them due. And if I touch wood, pass both of them, which I found the path for physiology really difficult, but I felt like, felt like I did okay. I did a lot of revision for it. So I kind of did okay. Um, hopefully if I pass them, all that's left and then is just my placement book. So getting all my competencies signed off and meeting the hours. And then I finished, you know, so I've got, five more weeks now of placement and I'm just I'm just waiting back for my um my results so I'm in, I'm in kind of a, a good space at the moment I'm I'm quite confident about I'm not I won't say quite confident but I'm a little bit confident about the exam I did do a lot of revision so hopefully it does pay off um the assignment was quite you know it was very wordy for example it's 3,000 words so a lot of referencing as well and I'm a very good very strong on referencing should I say so um, it kind of helped me academically with writing that assignment, I'd say. Uh, but the pathophysiology exam I found quite good because you do learn a lot. Also, you've got the OSCE as well that I've just done. Um, the OSCE and then the pathophysiology, you, you're learning about the history taking and how to assess the system. And also the pathophysiology of what goes wrong and you kind of meets in the middle. So I, I found that really good. So I liked how the university course did that. Definitely thumbs up. So yeah, I'm just now waiting on them, which I'll bring you in the next video. I, I would explain my results. If I'm crying, it's gone wrong. If I'm crying, it could have gone right. So it's kind of like a 50-50. So I'm very nervous and um, very nervy wait. You know, you can, you, it could be up to 20 working days, they say. So hopefully it's not that long. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated. Um... If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like down below and a, sus and a subscribe and a subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Um, make sure you leave a comment and also check out my second channel and Jacob's second channel, which will be in the um, description. Maybe not when the video goes up, but in the meantime, you know, I'm still making the channel. So it might not be in there when I upload this video, but hopefully, fingers crossed, in a couple more weeks it will. Uh, because I'm going on a holiday with Lucy. Um, and also on holiday with my dad, so I'm going to be documenting a lot of holiday vlogs coming up in uh, August, so stay tuned for that. Um, but in the meantime, I will catch you guys later, and um, yeah, stay ordinary.